Hello everyone, I'm Danny Ivan and thank you very much for joining my YouTube channel. This is my first 100 runs of Andario. Um, I had 322 magic fine. I have been farming her lately, but I just figured, hey, if I'm doing her so much, I might as well just record these events. So, on my first run, I did not uh, did not get in the groove of recording things, so I apologize for not inspecting my first item right away, but I'm sure that you can tell what that green item is as I drop that. Don't need that. I really want to see what this is. And instead of me inspecting it, I loot some gold real quick and then teleport and I have Decker King. But if for those of you who know, it is a Immortal King Stone Crusher as my first item. And for my second run, you will see that I got none other than Tal Rasha's Mesh Belt for my second run. So for my third run, it's not actually from Andario, but a random mob that I found uh, killing. It's always good to kill things on the way, which just turns out to be a Shadow Fang, so that's a good low level item. On my fourth run killing Andario, what I found here is another green piece, is the Infernal Torch. I'm running a bit of a hot streak with back-to-back -back finds, so on my fifth run, I find here is a Storm Strike. Uh, pretty good low-level blow. I've been finding low-level stuff. Uh, of course, I find Angelic's Halo, Dime a Dozen, and Catherine's Seal, which is everywhere. Number six, disappointing run. Another Dime a Dozen piece of gear, which is the Eisenhardt's Light Brand. Run number eight, two unique items drop here. The first item is the very good wizard spike with 50% faster cast rate and plus 75 all res. The second item is just a rip hook. Run number nine draws magnet skin, which is a 20% increase attack speed, plus 100 attack rating and plus 15 fire resist. Run number 10 has skin of the flayed one. The only good stat on this is high defense. That's about it. Run number 13 draws Bone Slayer Blade, which is a great nightmare weapon with increased damage and speed. Run number 20 is not from Undeller, but from another random mob inside the dungeon, which is the Bing Sim Wang, which is a great nightmare weapon for freezing your targets. Also on run number 20, the Q Hagen's Wisdom Drop, which is an awesome caster weapon with a plus one to all skills and faster cast rate. Also, the Flesh Render Drops with this great weapon for nightmare mode druids. On run number 24, Redemit Sphere drops, which is a meh kind of shield, but it's good with a plus 75 poison resist and faster block rate. Run 27 drops a Minotaur, which is a great hard-hitting weapon with a chance of crushing blow that also blinds and slows the target. Run 29 drops Grave Palm, which is really just meh, didn't really care too much for it. But the second item, Cold Wind's Point, which is great for a... Uh, High normal for the plus one to all skills, increased attack speed, and faster hit recovery. Run number 30 is another reason why you should kill everything in front of you because a random mob drops Immortal King's Will. On the same run killing Andario, Plague's Bearer drops, which is really great heavy hitting weapon for druids in nightmare mode. On run number 36, an Ithriel the Atlantean with plus two to paladin skills drops. On run number 40, Infernal's Belt drops, also for the 20th time, Captain Seal drops, and Raven Claw dropped. On run number 42 from a random mob, a Carrion Wind drops with plus 121 defense versus missile and plus 55 poison resist. Run number 45, Butcher's Pupil drops, which is a great nightmare weapon with the increased attack speed and damage, plus chance of deadly strike and open wounds. Also, Huawin's Justin drops as well. Run 49, on a random grave, Alder's Stoning Gaze drops. On run 50, Tal Rasha's Death Mask drops with plus 10 mana and lifesteal, and plus 15 to all resistance. Run 54 drops two items. The first one is Heavily Garb, which is a good all-around armor for Nomar mode, especially at level 29 requirement. Also, the second item is Soul Harvest, which is another good low-level normal mode weapon to use at level 19. Run 55 drops Swordback Hold, which is a good level 15 shield with a chance of open wounds. Run 58 drops three set pieces. 
The first one is Talrasha's belt with a little bit more magic find compared to the first one I found on run number two. Second item is Captain's amulet, which is I don't care about. And the third is Hamasu's artament. Run 59 drops a unique ring, which turns out to be Ravenfrost, my first one I've ever found. Run 61 drops Bloodletter, which is a great barbarian weapon for normal mode. Run number 65 drops my first ever Lane of Hands, which is great for Act 4 for the increased damage to demons. And get this, Fire Resist plus 50%, not just plus 50. Also, the second item drops Dusk Deep, which is a great level 17 helm with the plus 15 to all resistance. Alright, running through run 67, Shaco drops, no, not that Shaco, Fazel, not that one. Hello. Very funny. Run 68 dropped four items off on Daryl this time. The first one, the kite shield, is the Milabriga's orb, which is good low level for magic finding. The second one is probably my 80th Catherine's mass, which I don't really care about anymore. A third item is interesting for level 18 with the piercing attack is uh, Ecor Sting, which is great. And the last item is, of course, another Dust Keep that I found again. Good low level, low level item. Run 71, two items drop. The first one is Ginther's Rift, which is a great hard-hitting item. Uh, the only problem is I wish it, the level requirement was lowered. The second item I get is another Q Hegan's Wisdom. Run 73 drops two items. The first one is Stone Raven, which is a great hard-hitting spear with extra magic damage, plus 594 defense, and plus 32 to all resistances. The second item is the Dark Clan Crusher, which is a great druid item for later in normal and I'd argue throughout Nightmare with the plus two druid skills, enhanced damage, especially against demons. Run 77 drops Silk Wave, which is great with uh, 202 defense versus missile and 15% increase to maximum mana. Run 81 drops Nora's Tenderizer, which increase attack speed and damage, 167% bonus to attack rating, high cold damage, and freezes targets. Run 83 drops Nokozen's Relic, which has a fire resistance of plus 50%. Also, Aldor's Advance drops as well. A run 86, a random mob drops Shaco, not that Shaco, Fazel. Hello. Run 87, off a random mob, Sasabi's Mental Sheath drops for the first time for me, which is not a bad item with the plus one to all skills and some resistances. Run 90, the Cat's Eye drops, which I don't know anyone who uses this, so if you use it, please comment below and let me know why. During run 92, off a random mob, Huawen Splendor draws for me. Run 94, Bone Hue draws for me, which uh, many people like to have on the Mercenary because it hits hard and it prevents monster heal. Um, the second item I get over here is, if I could, uh, I don't know why I pick up the shield. Let me drop that. This is the Sanders Superstition. And third item is another uh, Mila Braga's Orb. Run 98 off a of random mob, I find the Cloud Crack, which is a good hard hitting weapon for paladins in nightmare mode. Well, everyone, that is my 100 Andoya runs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as you can see, this is recorded in 4K, so it takes up a lot of hard drive space. And this took me about four days of recording and then one day of editing. So if you could please leave a like, possibly a subscribe. As you can see, my numbers are low, so any of it counts tremendously. If you had any, any suggestions or anything like that or anything else you'd like to see, please let me know and I'd be happy to do it. So other than that, happy farming, everyone. Thanks for your time. I'm Danny Ivan.